In this tutorial, we'll continue to learn how to pre-process the data. So the first step is to load the data from the MNIST dataset. We already have the connection from the Keras API to its MNIST. So what we had to do is load the data. Remember, we'll be doing a benchmark on data loading as well. So we create the start for stopwatch and stop of stopwatch. By the end of this video tutorial series, you can see the benchmark results. The next step is to visualize a sample of data because you need to know how the data looks like. So what I have done is I have taken the 100 training sample and its corresponding label. So this is a, a variation of five. Let's check out 100 then, first one. It's a variation of writing seven. So likewise, there are lots of other variations of writing number three, number seven, number zero, like us from number zero to number nine. There will be uh, tons of other combinations which we can use to represent a given number. The next step is to identify how many unique labels are there. Basically, we should only have 10 labels because we have the numbers from zero to 10, zero to nine. So there'll be 10 numbers. So we'll, we'll check the unique uh, samples in white train. So we have like hundreds of zeros, hundreds of threes, hundreds of fives, but we want to know how many unique uh, numbers are there. So that's how we do with NumPy. It says there are 10 uh, unique numbers. That's true. We only have values from zero to nine. The next step is to convert data, this data into another data format, which will be useful in training the data set. This is called converting this into a one-hot vector. This is a question that you need to ask in a, a future assignment. You need to go through the uh, lecture series uh, that's provided for deep learning. And maybe you can do a search and you can read articles and papers and you can understand why you need to use a one-hot vector that won't be discussed in this lecture. So be prepared to answer this question. So in this step, we'll be creating uh, a one hot vector for training and testing labels. So from Y, we represent the labels, and here from the X, we represent these de features which have the data uh, for a given image. Let's run this one. Next part is to reshape the image. The importance of reshaping the image is merely to make the network very readable. So here, the size of this image is 28 by 28 pixels. So you have a matrix of 28 by 28 to represent this number three. What you can do is you can create a slice, a just single slice of data by making this a vector. So you can stack all these uh, vectors in one line and create one vector, which has the dimensionality of one times 784. 784 meaning 28 times 28. So we reshape the input shape. The next important step is to normalize the data. Normalizing is a very important step in creating any statistical model, machine learning model, or deep learning model. The main reason is that in images, the values, pixel values range from zero to 255. So we need to normalize this because of this variation. So what we simply do is load the data and convert it to the expected image size, which is the input size that we recommended here to use. And then we make it as the float type using uh, NumPy API, and we divide it by 255 to normalize it. There are better ways to normalize the values, and you can find such ways and report it in the assignment. Let's run that step. In the next step, let's learn how to create the Keras model to build a neural network, and then we'll be training and testing and see how our model works.